What's going on my boy, YT Dan, back at it again, making regular videos on this channel. Please hit the like button to help the video go through the algorithm and allow YouTube to let people know that your boy is making content on this channel. Now today, my boy, we're gonna be getting in there to talk about something pretty spicy. We're gonna be getting in there with a pretty cool deck. We're gonna be getting in there against the Vanquish Souls. Now, the Vanquish Souls is a really good deck. It's a hand trap deck that primarily bounces itself off the field, blows up all your opponent's cards or blows up their entire field, strong interruptions on top of all the hand traps and everything else they can play. It's a pretty good control deck. A lot of people like it. It is tier one currently in the meta right now. Um, I don't know what you other guys are doing. I guess you're getting crushed by this deck right now. But your boy is going to be getting in there today with Valence. Now, listen, today we're going to be getting in there with the Valence because I have been playing on ranked online with you guys through my stream as you can see in wherever the drop down is on these streams my boy i've been playing and uh been doing really good but we do not see vanquish soul on the ladder at all and i would imagine we don't see vanquish soul for two reasons number one it's an expensive deck and a lot of people don't have it and number two it's a really good deck so it's advancing so i'm in gold and blew out gold yesterday on stream you guys saw that you can check out the stream on some drop down here but uh we're going to be getting in there against the very first and only vanquish soul deck that i played against and i think that the duel was really interesting so check it out my boys right now v s versus v v vanquish souls versus the valence wars we shall see who becomes the victor. So special summon of the Panther. So no normal sermon burn yet. So that's pretty disgusting. Rock of the Vanquisher. And then we get our normal summon and I'm going to go ahead and ash that. So we've got a normal summon to ash. I'm feeling good about it. You know, didn't, you know, can stop what it can stop, but Hey, you know, we got a normal summon target. That's pretty much how I judge using ash. If they normal summon, have they normal summoned already? Have they played a once per turn special? Free to Ash. All right, drop the catch tier of Fenrir, add the catch tier of Fenrir. Did not take my bait, then I go ahead and special summon. I've used two special summons here, and basically in his mind, in his calculus, he's gonna pop the trap card to destroy all cards on the field. Now, I did not know that that's what happens when you play this card, I did not know. And uh, this is the first time I come up against it and nuke. Yeah, it was not fun. It, it was, wasn't fun at all. I, I actually hated it, but we are still good because we got the pendulum summon. Now he showed us his hand, which is full of hand traps, Ash and Ghost Girl. We're not gonna need Ghost Girl. That's none of our concern, but Ash is. So pendulum summoning into uh, Shinoname and then popping Shinoname's effect is a really good ash target for him as well he picks ash ashes it fine then we're going to get our coin flip and win so we get a negate on that monster which is kind of useless because he's already used the effect i think twice um, but we've got the negate on that boy and now we're going in the heavy metal folds electromite now we've already used our pendulum summon so we do not need our spirit we're going to pop it and go and search for the baton which is going to be key to winning here so we're going to use the baton Rise up better. We're gonna use Mad Marquis, rise up. We're gonna use Mad Marquis dice roll to plus up. Wonderful. But we've already used that summon this turn. So we'll have to rely on Mad Marquis effect. Dice roll. Wonderful. Summon a beast and link into the ultimate. The nightmare unicorn. His words nightmare. Now because we received a free card from a heavy metal folds electromite, we can discard the Book of Moon to reduce his monster to the deck. Now, link four to the man with victory in his hands. Access code talker. Let's talk to him. Now, tribute fusion into the Grand Duke and the battle has begun. Grand Duke destroys the mad lover and 53 to your guts. Now listen, I couldn't finish him this turn. So now our opponent gets an opportunity to strike back. But because it's a control deck, the strike back will be weak. And it cannot overcome the power of my board. Or at least, 
it can only deal with one threat at a time. And the primary target, access code talker. So the rock of the vanquish will provide the rock. Yes, and now it's time because the rock wasn't strong enough to defeat our Grand Duke. And the time has come for battle. That trap card isn't strong enough or spell card. I'm just glad I had the PS5 ready so that I could defeat his versus monsters. So now the Rock of the Vanquishers field effect is over and we no longer have to do battle at the Rock. Now, it is our opponent's turn. And they will finish out their combination. Now I'm getting worrisome. This is our last chance at victory as well because technically <laughs> he could wipe us out in this turn. But it looks like all he can muster is the Black Luster Soldier. Round two, fight, destroy. Damn. Well, it's just time to never ever miss, my boy. We got to draw the Shinonime, so we're about to play. The rock isn't strong enough, my boy. Be gone. We're going to get our banished because we've got the ash. We're not going to let him get any cash. And he knows what's coming next because... Because we've got Shinonime, we're going to be able to advance our play and win the entire game. And he's like, you didn't even use Beyond the Pendulum. I'm out of here. 